Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Kerrville Weekly News Roundup, brought to you by the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network. We are your co-hosts and founders of the podcast network, Tom Fox and Andrew Gay here in the studio. Coming to you live uh, this Friday morning. Happy Friday. We're going to run over our top news picks for the week. Uh, so, so let's get to it. Tom, you want to do the honors here and kick us off? Sure. I want to shout out to a woman named Margo Newcomb, who was awarded a Hearts of Gold Award at Morgan's Wonderland Theme Park in San Antonio. This theme park is dedicated to uh, accessibility for disabled visitors, and Margo has been working in this area for many years, and she serves as a trustee for Mobility Worldwide, a volunteer-based international organization that specializes in building uh, mobility cards. So I wanted to, to shout out to uh, Margo Newcomb for receiving that award and also shout out to the Shriner Bachelor of Science and Nursing Program who had a 100% pass rate on the National Council Licensing Dang. Exams for uh, nurses. So shout out to Shriner University, shout out to the uh, Bachelor of Science and Nursing Program and the students who did the great work to uh, get that. And then... Um, the, uh, the Caillou Theater is uh, this weekend uh, hosting a, um event where they're going to preview their 23-24 season. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it's a wide variety of arts, uh, theater, music, visual arts, uh, speeches, talks, comedy. It's a great venue and a great place for uh, Kerrville residents. And really for my last thing, Andrew, I'd like to shout out and encourage everyone, if you have not done so, uh, Saturday, July 8th is the final day of the Museum of Western Art 40th anniversary show. It is mm. a stunning show. Um, the executive director, Daryl Beecham, uh, has told me uh, it's as, he's as proud of this as anything he has ever done as museum director. Uh, it is uh, obviously the, the scope of Western Art for the past 40 years. For me, though, one of the highlights was each piece has several paragraphs of write-up uh, next to it on the wall. So you get to learn about the artist. You get to learn about the piece. They've done just a stunning um, job on this. It is everything you could ask for in Western art, sculpture, um, obviously uh, visual, uh, paintings, drawings, lithographs, uh, wood carvings. Um, it, it's, just, it's really just an incredibly special uh, exhibit uh, Saturday uh, is the last day. If you haven't been there, go down and see it. Celebrate um, this just tr jewel of a treasure we have locally. Daryl and his team have done a, just an outstanding job. My wife and I have been twice, and we're going to go again Saturday just to experience it one more time. I've been once too, and I, I was going to say that's a that's a solid uh, setup there because you set set the stage perfectly because it really is. It's it's a, even if you're not super into western art specifically it's still worth going and just having the art experience i mean you know i'm particular not super into like western art particularly but the experience of going there and, and reading the backstories of some of those paintings i even heard from daryl about some of the backstory of his uh personal ties with some of those artists right. just absolutely phenomenal uh stories there so and you know probably we should shout out to uh, daryl's new podcast available on the texas hill country podcast network it's art let's talk about it where daryl sits down with the artist cowboy artist of america and other artists who have uh he's worked with an exhibit at the museum of western art uh, it's a great uh podcast to take a deep dive daryl's obviously a, a great talker and it turns out these artists are as well so check out it's art let's talk about it available on the texas hill country podcast network or wherever great podcasts are listened to as a matter of fact last night we were listening to it in the car on itunes on the way back um uh from the outside part of the county with my folks in the car, we were listening to the latest episode. So it's on our Facebook page. I'll check that out. Um, probably just below this post. If you're watching this right now, it's literally like the one right underneath it. Uh, okay. So thank you. Thank you for that, Tom. Wonderful, wonderful wrap up of the week there. I don't have a lot. I just wanted to, uh, for, for myself today, I just wanted to mention the 4th of July event and how my perspective, our, my family's perspective on that, my, uh, and what it was like this year, because that's that's one of our leading uh, gets for for things that are happening uh, around Kerr County and in Kerrville in particular. 
and this was the first year that uh, Mr. Robert Earl Keane was not headlining. Uh, we got Randy Rogers band instead, which was a great, uh, you know, hometown nostalgia for myself. I saw them first time 14 years ago or so, if not a little more back in, in Bonita Creek Hall in Nacogdoches, Texas, when I was just the wee one um, before making it out to the Texas Hill Country. And I have fantastic memories of them. And they, they it was nice to see them put on a great show. Uh, they still got it rocking. And to see all the people there, um, it was just fantastic. It was a great experience for me, myself, my wife, but also my folks to bring them out. So shout out to Arcadia Live for putting that on another successful event this year. Um, thought it was fantastic. And we even had some other things happening around the fourth, too. So on Tuesday morning, I think there was a there was a couple of different uh, events. One in particular there was like a bicycle parade. I know our friend Lewis over at the Kirk County League covered some of that. So it was a very patriotic week here in, in Kerrville. So just I wanted to highlight that week for us because it's such a big wheel, uh, week for for us here in Kerr County and in Kerrville. Um, and then to round that off, speaking of the lead, I just wanted to give another shout out to the Kerr County lead because whether you follow them through the Facebook page or just KerrCountyLead.com, Lewis has composed a nice catalog of event day pictures from our Kerrville's uh, River fourth of july here so just uh you can find those on his website you can find them on his facebook page so shout out to him for doing that and uh yeah there's some wonderful pictures in here so anyway i hope you guys if you were in the area and you were able to to have a safe and, and happy fourth i hope it was a good week for you and i think that'll do it for us this week tom any final closing thoughts you doing anything exciting this weekend uh, i have a birthday this weekend Hey, what day specifically is your birthday? Sunday, July 9th. It is Sunday. Okay. Very happy early birthday. Thank you. Uh, yeah, good deal. And, you know, it'd be nice if we were supposed to have a little bit of rain. There's a little chance of rain in the forecast. So I don't know. We were just talking about the weather before we started here. It looks like it's going to cool off this weekend. We'll see if that holds. Uh, okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Catch you back here next week. Don't forget, interact with us, share our content. It helps other people find the show and our Facebook page and our podcast network. We're so grateful for you listening and tuning in. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you next week.